How to set up an Ifinity 3 monitor display configuration. AMD has created a platform called Ifinity, which enables the stitching of multiple displays into a single large display to create an immersive viewing experience. When using an AMD graphics card, it likely has multiple video outputs. For a three monitor Ifinity configuration, you'll need three video outputs, at least one of them being a DisplayPort or Mini DisplayPort output. When using an AMD graphics card, it likely has multiple video outputs. For a three monitor Ifinity configuration, you'll need three video outputs, at least one of them being a DisplayPort or Mini DisplayPort output. In this case, we have an AMD 7770 graphics card featuring one HDMI, one DVI, and one DisplayPort output. It's important to note that even if your video card has multiple video outputs, its chipset may be limited in the number of connected monitors the video card supports. Checking our video card manual, we confirm that our video card will support the three monitors. Our three monitors have VGA and HDMI inputs. It is ideal to have three monitors that support the same resolution. Here we connect a DVI to HDMI cable from the video card's DVI output to the first monitor's HDMI input. Next, we connect an HDMI cable from the graphics card's HDMI port to the HDMI input on the monitor. We want to connect the third monitor to the graphics card's display port output. However, our third monitor only has a VGA and an HDMI input. To complete the Ifinity configuration, an adapter must be used to convert the display port output to either HDMI or VGA. Your graphics card may have a mini display port output. The process we're demonstrating also applies to mini display port as well as display port. There are two types of display port adapters available, active adapters and passive adapters. When adapting a graphics card's display port output to work with a monitor's non-display port input for the Ifinity configuration, we recommend using active adapters. For this setup, we are using the XL DisplayPort 1.2 to HDMI Active Adapter. Here we connect the XL DisplayPort to HDMI Active Adapter to the graphics card's DisplayPort output and use an HDMI cable to connect the Active Adapter to the monitor. Next we will power up the PC and monitors. To configure the monitors, go into the AMD Catalyst Control Center. First, we suggest ensuring you are using the latest graphics driver, which you can do here. Our drivers are up to date, so we will continue. On the left, click on AMD Ifinity Multi Display and then Create Ifinity Display Group. Here, we can select the display layout. We select the horizontal widescreen display and click Continue. The desktop arrangement may not be correct. To fix it, click on Arrange. Now there are two black screens and one blue screen. Select the location of the blue monitor that corresponds to one of the three screens displayed. Complete this step for the other two monitors and click Done. Now the monitors are arranged correctly. Other changes can be made in the AMD Catalyst Control Panel, such as adjusting for the bezel and edges. However, we won't be making adjustments to these settings at this time. The Ifinity setup is complete. Now let's run a game that is Ifinity enabled. You may need to update the game's video resolution in its in-game options. The total resolution of our three 1080p displays is 5760 by 1080. As you can see, the Ifinity experience is quite immersive and the graphics seamlessly spread across all three monitors. For more information, please visit axelcables.com.